So this idea of reconciliation, you know, its foundation needs to be God. And also there's something very powerful about this connection to God. And I really feel dignity is a part of that too. Mm -hmm. and, and we all have a sense of dignity. And, and sometimes I think our sense of dignity kind of pushes us away from, from the truth because maybe there's this shame that we don't want to acknowledge, you know? And so we kind of want to push away truth or things that will bring us back to the way that we were created to be. Right. This is Journey with Prayer, a prayer journey corresponding to a previous episode of the Journey with Care podcast. What does reconciliation mean to you? The National Day for Truth and Reconciliation special. For he is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law, with its commandments and regulations. Heavenly Father, Creator, we come before you with hearts open and minds ready to receive your truth. Body, having killed the enmity through the cross. Ephesians 2, 14 to 16, taken from the ESV. Thank you for being the God of reconciliation, who through Christ has brought us back to yourself. Today we acknowledge the past wrongdoings and the broken relationships that exist between settlers and indigenous peoples in Canada. We know that in you there is restoration. We know that in turning our gaze towards you, there is restoration and peace and there is hope. Lord, guide us as we commit to the sacred task of reconciliation with the Indigenous communities. Let our actions speak as loud as our words, and may we honour you by seeking to rebuild and renew the relationships fractured by history, present and past injustices. We pray for your wisdom and courage to confront our own biases, to seek forgiveness from those we have wronged, and to offer it freely just as you have forgiven us. Grant us the courage to confront the past injustices committed by us and our forefathers. Give us the strength and humility to engage, to listen, and to truly understand the pain and suffering that has been endured. Help us to sincerely ask for forgiveness, to learn from our Indigenous brothers and sisters, and to cherish their gifts and perspectives. We acknowledge that you created every tribe, tongue and people, and we pray that their languages, songs, culture and creativity would thrive to be a sweet-smelling incense before you. And we lift up our communities to you, Father. May we be united in love, understanding, and a shared commitment to justice and healing with our Indigenous brothers and sisters. Let your spirit move among us and through us, that we may be agents of your grace, dedicating ourselves to the work of reconciliation in every area of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for entrusting us with this divine ministry of bringing people back to each other and to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Ask yourself the question, how am I actively participating in reconciliation with Indigenous peoples within my community? And what steps can I take to acknowledge past wrongs and commit to rebuilding? As you go through your week, I want to encourage you Take the time to reflect. Meditate on Ephesians 2, 14 to 16 and consider how God's call to reconciliation can transform your relationships and community engagements with Indigenous peoples. And then engage. Seek out opportunities to mend fractured relationship or support Indigenous initiatives in your community. It could be through heartfelt conversation, 
in active service. Perhaps it's sharing the Journey with Care National Day for Truth and Reconciliation episode, or participating in the 94 Calls to Action. And then pray. Pray for guidance in identifying areas of your life where reconciliation with Indigenous peoples is needed. Pray for wisdom and courage to acknowledge past wrongdoings and seek to make amends. Pray for your heart and the hearts of others to be transformed by God's love and desire for unity. You can check the show notes for these references, prayers, and scriptures, or to find out more about our podcast, head over to journeywithcare.ca slash podcast. I'm Johan, and thanks for praying with me today.